Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. I thought I'd talk to you today about the new RDMDB radio from Rugged. This is a radio unlike any you've seen as far as its programming. This radio is from the digital world, often called DMR, and there's some differences in how it's programmed that make it way different from the RM60s and 25 and 50 that you've been used to. And if you don't get some of them right, you'll send the file to the radio and it will then pronounce that it's not programmed. When you know good and well, you just send a file to the radio. No fear, that can be corrected. And I'm going to show you now exactly how to do it, and the great things you can do with these features. So, we started with communications, get data from radio into a blank file. That's something else that's a little different about this. I'm going to back up one step here. When you open the file, it's basically blank. It has one frequency in it, and it's like, where are the channel lines? Well, that's the way this radio's brain works. It doesn't have a channel unless you put a channel in. That channel's now in there, and you must put a name. Any name you want, as little as one character, but you must put a name. When I want the next one, That would be a start, but those won't go to the radio. You send this to the radio and all you're going to see is that 400 because of zones right here. Notice zone 1 and it has one channel in it. The rest of my channels aren't there. I'm going to edit. I'm going to bring channel 2 over and I'm going to bring channel 3 over. Now that's only on the top. This radio has a top and a bottom display. It can be working two stations at the same time. Here's my B. When I send this to the radio, I will have one display on the radio. It'll show channel 1, channel 2, and 155.675. Apparently if it doesn't get a name, we're putting the frequency in by default to keep the radio happy. If I've got a lot of activity going on and I want these in there twice, now it will show channel 1 twice, channel 2 twice, and this channel 3 twice. And you can be doing channel 1 on the top and channel 3 on the bottom. But this gives you more things to be listening to. So we're going to tell it OK. And it's going to spread it out. See the channel B's over here. Now the thing is, let's go back to this file where I have a lot more to play with. This is the read that I got from the Rugged Radio when I first got it. These are already in zones. And I'm going to click on here. There's 64 channels in a zone. Okay, this goes through this UHF-30, and this has another group of them. You see, they can be different. They can be anything you want. You can pick one out of the middle, and it'll put it over here. It'll put it at the bottom of the list. And you have more than one. I have an analog, which are my, let's go back to the memories. FM is analog. I have my digital, and these DMRs are digital, and they work a little differently. They sound a little different. And I have a listen only for the weather channels. This is a great idea. You don't really want the weather channels and all that noise when you're scanning anyway. So you're wondering, how am I going to do this on the radio? Over here in settings, in radio menu settings, I have a P1 key on the face of the radio, and it says Zone Plus. That means when I press it, I'm going to step from Zone 1 to Zone 2 to Zone 3. 
and I can change another one, so let's say the P3 key, to zone minus. If I had a bunch of zones, because I think you can put like 3,000 zones in this radio, I might want to be able to come down and not have to cycle all the way through all that I have. But you see how these keys work? I can put any of these on there. Um, keypad lock might come in real handy, but it'll also keep you from scanning. But here's scan on off. So you can press this key and start scanning from the face of the radio. So lots of things, long press, short press. You'll get used to how it feels on the radio. File save or save as. This one's already sa saved, so then we're going to exit. Communication, send data to radio. And when I get there, like I say, here I'll have two displays. Then I can change to group two. And I'll have different channels that I'm using. Looks like he put two meters on the bottom and 440 on the top. And I have the weather in group three. So I just push the button until it's in zone three. And then I can scan the weather. What would be neat to do here is to put some channels that you want to have available all the time. Or you could put your private channels here. And then you could be scanning the weather and listening to your private channels. So there's a lot you can do with this. The big thing is just don't forget to do it. So keep playing with it. Keep driving safely. And enjoy your radios. Enjoy your hobby. This is Karen at RT Systems.